a new arrival has arrived on the vast Rocky Point Plain. Having just landed from Thailand, the Indian summer conditions provided the appropriate setting for these ants to thrive. The air was hot and humid, creating an ideal environment for the ferocious fire ants known as Solenopsis geminata. These native South American ants quickly became the stuff of nightmares for every invertebrate and arachnid in the vicinity. The entire ecosystem of Rocky Point Plain was on high alert, aware that those who did not heed the warning would soon feel the wrath of these formidable invaders. The queens of the existing empires, the Pelper Empire and the Sunrise Empire, were particularly concerned about the risk of attack from these relentless intruders. Both empires inhabited the central region of Rocky Point Plain, making them prime targets for the fire ants invasion. The queens issued strict warnings, urging their subjects not to cross the border and remain vigilant. Newberry Empire is also on high alert. Look at Queen Shensia standing on a large pile of brood surrounded by her daughters, doesn't she look incredible? But she is aware of the rapid growth and ferocity of Solenopsis geminata. In order to prevent intruders from crossing the border, she has requested that some type of barrier be erected between the borderlines. Rocky Point Council has been considering this issue. Despite being tense, Queen Marbella is highly protected, her brood is growing rapidly, and a growing number of super majors are being born each day. The timing couldn't have been more ideal for her to have some majors around, knowing that danger lurks literally around the corner. The tension was palpable as the Talawa Empire, as I had named the Solenopsis Geminata colony, prepared for their mission of conquest. Their queen, Queen Masika, had a singular vision, to invade and wipe out all competition on Rocky Point Plain. The fate of the existing empires hung in the balance, as bloodshed seemed imminent. Yet, amidst the potential chaos and destruction, there remained a glimmer of hope. It was my wish that complete annihilation could be avoided, that the empires could coexist and find a way to thrive together. Only time would tell if Queen Masika and her Talawa Empire would be swayed by this vision of peace or if their hunger for dominance would prevail. As the tale of the fire ants' arrival on the Rocky Point Plain unfolded, the stage was set for a battle of survival and a test of strength. The future of the empires and the delicate balance of the ecosystem now rested on the outcome of this epic clash. The Talawa Empire consists of one healthy queen and a worker population ranging from 90 to 100 individuals. The worker caste comprises four distinct groups, minors, medias, majors, and super majors. Queen Masika has produced an impressive number of brood, indicating a promising future for the colony's growth. The bright and shiny orange coloration of these fire ants adds a captivating visual element to the colony. This distinctive coloration serves as a warning signal to potential predators, as fire ants are equipped with potent stingers that deliver painful bites. As the hot September sun sets, the Talawa Empire is out hunting on the plain. They dart around the plain in excitement. Detecting a possible meal, they are on the lookout. After being in quarantine for five days, they are starving after the flight from Thailand to South London. A baby mealworm has wandered onto Talawa territory, unaware of the danger it poses, it strolls across the plain, but not for long before she is attacked violently by a Talwa worker before the rest of the empire follows suit. There is an aggressive nature to the attack. There is a constant attack on the baby mealworm from all directions. Its hide is much softer than that of an adult mealworm, so ants' bites and stings will be more effective. As the mealworm attempts to throw the workers off her, she curls and coils her body aggressively. However, despite her efforts, she eventually wears down and is overpowered.
As more and more workers join the attack, they sting and bite the mealworm to death. To protect their meal from other ants, the Talawa Empire covers the dead mealworm with soil, allowing them to return to it later to feast. During the night they eat their treasured meal and take chunks of meat to their Queen Majesty and the larvae. The Talawa Empire is hunting again the following night, and the black horsefly is the victim. Horseflies are not as strong as mealworms, so they are easier to manage and kill.
As soon as the fly dies, the empire rips it apart and feeds on the meat, which is packed with protein and nutrients, perfect for a growing colony.